Hey guys, so we are starting off with the skin for this look and I am priming using my Bare Minerals Primetime Primer and it is just going to create a nice base and even out my skin tone. And then I'm going to apply foundation. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation mixed with Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops in the shade G20 and I'm just using a damp beauty blender to press this into my skin. Then for the eyes, I am starting out with Benefit Air Patrol Eye Primer, so I'm just applying some of that to my lids and then using a Sigma P84 angled brush just to blend that into the eyelids. Then I'm going in with some sticky tape and I'm just applying some to the corners of my eyes. This is going to make life so much easier when we do the winged liner. Then I am taking the shade Mirage from my Z palette. These are Makeup Geek eyeshadows, which are some of my favorite eyeshadows as you guys probably already know. Then I'm using Peach Smoothie on an E40 brush by Sigma and I'm just messily blending that into the crease and kind of above where my crease is. Then I'm going in with Frappe, which is a bit of a warm toned, kind of transition-y brown. And I'm just doing the exact same thing, just buffing it and blending it into the crease. Then I'm going in with Cocoa Bear, continuing on the same E40 brush. And I'm bringing this one a little bit lower down into the outer corner. So before I was keeping it just in the crease, this time I'm actually blending it down along where the tape is, down to my lash line. Then I'm taking the shade Desert Sands. This is just like a pukey color. And I love these kinds of colors just in the crease, just like kind of above all the other colors. So I'm just applying a little bit of that. Then I'm going in with the shade Mocha and I am using an E25 brush for this shade as it's a lot more precise. And I'm starting to build that up in the outer corner. Then I'm taking the shade Americano, which is similar to Mocha, except it's a little bit deeper. And I'm just doing the exact same thing, just blending it in and building up the color and then bringing it in through the crease. Here I'm going back in with the shade Mocha mixed with Americano. So mixing those two browns together and I am applying them to the actual lid. So this brush is amazing for applying colors to the lid and blending them out as you go. So I love using this for like a matte smoky eye kind of thing. So as you can see, I am buffing and blending as well as applying the color at the same time. And here I'm just building up a little bit more of the color. Then I'm taking the same E25 brush with a bit of the shade Corrupt, which is a matte black. And I am just building this up in the very outer corner. As you can see, it is so pigmented, you barely need anything. So I'm just bringing that right along where the tape is and then a little bit in towards the crease. And then I'm just going back in with the E40 brush I originally used just to make sure all of those shades are really seamlessly blended together. Here I'm just going in with the E25 brush once again and adding a little bit more of the brown colors. And then once again with the E40, I am blending everything out. Here we are going in with the Tarte Eye Jewels Eyeliner in White Gold. It is amazing, it is so beautiful. So I'm applying the like metallic eyeliner first and creating a little wing. And then once that dries, I'm going over with the glitter side and it is just stunning. I absolutely love this eyeliner so much. Then I can remove the tape and we are going to tight line using the Rimmel Scandalized Coal Pencil in black. And then I'm going to apply a coat of the Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. And then the falsies I'm going to go in with are the Klepke Saint Tropez Vegan Lashes. Now, I don't know where my clip went of me showing this product and applying it to my face, but I'm showing blending it out. It is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I applied it underneath my eyes and then all down the center of my face to highlight and just blended it out with my beauty blender. Then to bake all of that concealer. I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just applying that underneath my eyes 
in sort of a V motion, I guess, down on my chin, around on my nose, and a little bit on my forehead, and then I just buffed it all away using an F25 tapered face brush, which is so soft and smooth. Then to bronze and contour my skin. First I'm contouring using the medium cocoa shade from the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit on a Sigma F77 brush. It is such a precise little contour brush and you wouldn't think it would work for powders but it works amazingly. So as you can see, I'm applying it onto my cheekbones, down my nose and a little bit under my bottom lip and it just gives such a nice contoured look. And then I'm going in with the dark cocoa shade on an F23 brush from Sigma. This is like a large fluffy contour brush and it is so quick and easy to use. I love it. So I'm applying this in those areas as well, but then bringing it up around my hairline and my temples just to add some nice warmth to the face. Then for blush, I'm taking the Sigma blush in Core de Rosa, I believe it's called. And I'm using it on a F37 brush. Sorry, I had a mind blank. And just applying that to my cheeks. Then I'm going in with the Pure Cosmetics um, strobing highlighting palette. And I'm taking that beautiful champagne color and applying that with my Beauty Blender to all of the areas that I normally would highlight. And then to give an even more intense glow, I'm taking my Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm using Glow Getter and I'm using an F03 brush to apply it because it's my favourite highlight brush and I'm just applying it over the top of all of those areas and I'm a be a glowing goddess. And then I just took an F50 duo fibre brush because it was kind of a little bit intense so I just wanted to make sure it was nice and soft and seamless. Then to set down the powders and make sure they look nice and dewy, I'm taking MAC Fix Plus Spray just to set my face. Then for the lips, I used Colourpop Lippy Stick in the shade Cookie, which is this beautiful brownie nude colour. I absolutely love it and the formula is so creamy and beautiful. Then moving back onto my eyes, I'm taking the shade Frappe once again on my E40 brush and I'm just messily buffing this underneath the lower lash line. I wanted it to be pretty smoky on that lower lash line. Then I'm taking Americano on my E25 brush. It's the same brush I used before with the black, so it's still got a little bit of black left over on it, but I'm just taking this and doing the same thing. And then on an E30 brush, I am taking Corrupt, and I'm just going really close to the lower lash line just to add nice depth and dimension, I guess. And then on a different clean E30 brush, I took Shimmer Shimmer and highlighted my inner corners and my brow bone. Then I just took a brown liner from Rimmel and lined my waterline to keep it a little bit soft. And then I went in with some lower lash mascara and then I took some little diamonds that I just got from a craft shop. They're like a bronzy copper shade and I just placed one in the center of each lower lash line. And that completed the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, it's three o'clock. It is too. I fucked up this eye so many times and had to keep trying to fix it. Oh my god.